Welcome to the second installment of this series on which we are talking about Retrosynth. This time around we'll be discussing everything that I did in order to get the amazing and lush pad that I created and a little bit more tricks regarding the base. So without further ado, let's get into it! You probably remember that the sound coming from the speakers was a little bit more of a gated baseline. And in order to do that, we're gonna work with another plugin. Once again, built-in plugin. And it's just a noise gate. This time around, we're gonna be using it like this. How it works is quite simple. We're gonna be using the sidechain function of the plugin. How does, does it work? It's simple. Since we're dealing with this uh, instance of, let me get rid of this, of uh, a um, drummer, logic drummer, uh, it, ha it comes as a multi timbral instrument, which allows us to have different channels for each of the sounds inside of the drum, drum kit. For example, that's a kick, and so on and so forth. So what I did is I installed this in instance of the, of the noise gate, and I, first of all, set the sidechain function to the kick drum, which is gonna let the, system, the, the plugin know that it has to operate only when there is sound coming from that particular track. Which means that every time that the kick, the kick is hitting, the, the gate is gonna be active. But the thing is this, instead of using the gate function, which is gonna be like, sound comes, comes through and sounds stop coming through, we're gonna use the docker. What it does is just lower down the volume of our signal, the, in this case the baseline, every time the kick drum is hitting. So we're gonna get something like this. If I get rid of the kick drum, if, sorry, if I get rid of the gate, it's gonna sound like this. Really neat trick. Now let's talk about the path. First thing first, we're gonna just use once again a default setting. And for a path, what you gotta do is try to use as many voices as possible and also to add, you have to add as much layers, as many layers as possible. The reason is this, you want to create something that it's evolving as the sun goes on and it's not just a block of sound that it's boring as hell. So in order to avoid uh, the horrible sound of boredom, we're gonna do this. First of all, we're gonna select our oscillators and this time around we're going to be using both of them at the same time but one of the key ingredients is going to be this we're going to put a little bit of uh, modulation here this is going to be like the um, the pulse width sound wave something in the likes of this and then we're going to set oscillator 2 as well in in something in between this section and sh we should get something like this It's a still boring and quite horrible, but we will change it as time goes on. Now, this is one of the secret ingredients. Here we got uh, in, oscillator, in the oscillator section, but the oscillator, the oscillator 2 section, we got this semitone and synth. What it, what it does is uh, it's changing the pitch of oscillator 2 in relationship with oscillator 1. So if I go nuts and I do this, it's pitching one octave higher, but as you can see, you can change it little by little or going to, to both streams. So for this application, we're not going to use this, use this because we have this scent. What it does is exactly the same as semitones, but in, instead of going one one tone at a time. It does it in really, 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 really little, little steps. Let's take a look. That's much more like it. But it still sounds like something out of a really cheap uh, 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 dinosaur piano. So. Instead of doing, uh, instead of do using that sound because it's quite lackluster, we're gonna work on our filter now. Filter, the filter section. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the way our filter is behaving, but also we're gonna change the shape of the filter itself first. 
So first of all, we're going to add a little bit of resonance. How to do that? I know it's a little bit annoying that it doesn't have a proper resonance knob, key, knob but what you can do is this. Can you see this little orange dot? Yes, I know you can. You're going to click on it, hold it, and then you're going to drag it around and put it wherever you see fit. So for this application, we're going to go somewhere in the likes of this. Yeah, I like it. And then we're going to change uh, this section, the effects. We're going to add chorus because this is a pad and it has to sound wide and larger than live. And a chorus is always useful for that application. Make sure that you turn it on. Bam! And now you get something like this. Okay, I kind of like it, but um, the, the thing that it's annoying me the most is how fast it's reacting to my plane. This is a pad. It has to have some form of uh, feel and, and emotion and it has to develop, right? Like a beautiful uh, a flower in the middle of a field. So in order to do that, we're going to change the amplifier envelope, which is controlling how fast the sound is being released and how the sound reacts once it hits the amplifier section. So see what happens when I change the shape of the envelope. Okay, we are starting to get somewhere. Okay, now it's, it's, it's a little bit too harsh the way it stops. So what we're going to do is add some release. Ah, interesting. A little bit less. Okay, now I th I like it, but th that thing happening at the end, in like chewing, it's a little bit annoying. So in order to to change that, we're gonna hit the filter envelope because that's what it's what what it's making that sound. So we're gonna change the 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 sign and and the the way the shape of the envelope like this. Et voila! As you can see, RetroSynth is quite useful. And it might be a little bit overlooked because it's one of these built-in synthesizers. But believe me, it's quite powerful, simple to use, and in my opinion, it's a great way to get you started when it comes to virtual instruments and synthesis in general. As usual, like, subscribe, and share this content with every single music producer you know. And if you want to support our efforts, Go straight to Spotify, follow us over there, and listen to our music, you might like it. As usual, don't let anybody tell you what to dream about. And I will see you when I see you.